Have you ever pondered on the mean value theorem and its proof? This fundamental result in real analysis has multiple proofs. Today, we're going to explore two common approaches. First, we look at the mean value theorem as a generalization of Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem states that if a function f is continuous on a closed interval and differentiable on an open interval, and f at the endpoints are equal, then there's at least one point in the interval where the derivative equals zero. To prove the mean value theorem using Rolle's theorem, consider a function that is continuous on a closed interval and differentiable on an open one. Define a new function, h, as the difference between the function and the equation of the secant line passing through the endpoints of the interval. This new function is also continuous and differentiable on the same intervals. Because the secant line passes through both endpoints, the new function equals zero at these points. By Rolle's theorem, there's a point in the interval where the derivative of h equals zero. But this derivative equals the difference between the derivative of the function and the slope of the second line. Setting this equal to zero and solving for the derivative of the function, we obtain the mean value theorem. The derivative at some point equals the slope of the second line. The direct proof of the mean value theorem doesn't rely on Rolle's theorem. It uses the properties of continuity and differentiability directly. Again, consider a function that is continuous on a closed interval and differentiable on an open one. Define a new function, h, as the difference between the function and the equation of the secant line passing through the endpoints of the interval. The intermediate value theorem, which states that a continuous function on a closed interval takes on every value between its values at the endpoints, implies that there's a point in the interval where the new function equals zero. This means the function intersects the secant line at this point. The slope of the second line equals the difference in the function values at the endpoints divided by the difference in the endpoints themselves. By the definition of derivative, the slope of the function at the intersection point equals the derivative at this point. Since these two slopes are equal, we again obtain the mean value theorem. The derivative at some point equals the slope of the secant line. Both proofs demonstrate the existence of a point where the instantaneous rate of change of the function matches the average rate of change over the interval. This is the essence of the mean value theorem.